Hi everyone. Today we are going to get real, get close. We are going to have a room tour so you can see where I dwell most of the time. And super fun, I am going to motivate you virtually to clean out your closet because today we are cleaning out my closet. I was gonna shoot a completely different video actually. And then when I was looking for my signature sweatshirt and leggings, I couldn't even find it. And then I was like, dang, how did we get here? So instead of procrastinating for another month, I decided we're gonna take this bull by the horns and we're gonna clean it together because misery likes company. So we're gonna clean out my closet, get to know me a little bit more, and we'll be able to have a room tour. So let's get started. Also, I still think we should appreciate that I don't have any butter on my face, basically. And the hair looks kinda good, so. Sorry. Okay, this is the entrance to my room. Got this cool little abstract picture here. Got a little plant. Very proud of that, by the way, because I've kept it alive. So I usually always have some type of lo-fi playing and I have these lights around my TV and the lights around my bed. This is the iconic desk where I've done a lot of my sit down videos. I kind of live in a shoebox, but it's the nicest shoebox you'll ever see. I have this little stand here where I just put like cute little books that kind of match my room aesthetic. This is a painting that my niece really wanted. I've grown to like it. I didn't like it at first, but it's actually pretty cute. And we always have some type of pink light in here. So it goes with everything. I have this little seat here. I usually put my gym clothes there for the next morning. So it's really easy for me to not make excuses and just go to the gym. This is another angle of my desk. I recently got this mouse pad thing, which is nice because it helps with editing and stuff. I have my books, my calendar for the month, and then all my cool pins. I have a cute little gold trash can here. This is the book that I'm currently reading. I highly recommend it. It's so good. I'm going to start doing a monthly review, and I think that's going to be in March's review. These are my Japanese textbooks that I'm working on. I'm currently working through them, trying to learn Japanese. This is my journal and pictures of my family, me and my family. And that's a window. On this wall, we have pictures of me and my friends. So that's me and my niece, me and Milo. Milo when he was a baby, me and my niece, my little brother, one of my friends. I think that's Christmas morning. Me and my niece again. My niece, my niece and my brother. Oh, and this was Milo when he was just a baby. I think that was the first day we caught him. He's so cute. Now he's a pain in the butt, but still. And then we can come up here and you can see my bed. So this is my bed. It's usually not this wrinkly. Sorry about that. It's just cute and pink and goes with everything else. I really like this little hood thing because it feels really comfortable and cozy when I'm about to sleep. And I just think that it looks really cute with the lights on and stuff. And these lights change colors, so I always try to match it with the mood that I have on my TV. And that's everything. So I'll give you guys one final look. Business down here, party up here. My TV with the lights behind it. This light always does this. I don't know why. A certain way it fixes. And that is my humble abode. Hope you enjoyed the tour. And now it's time for business, for what we really came here for, for what's gonna motivate you to get your life together, semi together. So my room is already really small. And then my closet is really small. And then you just sprinkle in being a fashion and shopaholic. It really is a recipe for disaster. So I'm just gonna give you that forewarning before you see how crazy it is. But we're gonna have a really bomb before and after. Just keep that in mind. Let's be positive here. Let's be glass half full people because it's it's bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a pretty clean person, but my closet says otherwise. So <sighs> please don't leave. Please don't unsubscribe. But here we go. Okay. Yeah. So that is the damage. We have stuff piled 
all around all of this stuff here. I even have a container down here. It's not pretty. Yeah, it's it's definitely something I would understand if people just ran out of my house and never wanted to speak to me again. You see what we're up against. It's not pretty. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I feel like we make a good team. If we can do this, I know you can clean your own closet and you can clean up your room and just give yourself that boost of confidence, that fresh air and like fresh mental space when you clean up your room and your living quarters. It just always makes me feel better. I was gonna do it on my own and I was just like, no. We're gonna record it. We got a lot ahead of us, but I feel like we're prepared. I've trained for this for a while and the day's finally come. So I've got on my sweatshirt, comfortable socks, and I've got my best buddy. So it's game time. Wait, before we start, I forgot to show you this really cute feature in my room. It's kind of one of my favorite parts, but when I close the door, they ask me, hey guys, when you close the door, my mirror is so cool. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Ta-da! How cool is that? And it's just like a really nice way to see your whole outfit before you go. When I'm studying sometimes, I can just look at myself and when I'm procrastinating, I can just stare at myself in the mirror and just say, get your life together. Get it together. You said you were going to study. What are you doing looking at me? You know? And just get back on track. So. Just wanted to show you guys this little fancy feature here, and now we'll get back to it. So the game plan is for me to kind of just dump everything out of my closet so I can't chicken out. Wish me luck. Okay, this is the aftermath of me taking everything off the hangers. It's not even all my clothes. Some of the stuff I haven't even seen in like a year, so it's pretty daunting, but we can't chicken out now. This is what my closet looks like. I have this little mirror thing for jewelry. I completely forgot that I had because I haven't seen it in a while. Not gonna lie, it's been pretty bad. I was thinking maybe if we still have the heart to do this later, we'll do all this stuff. But I think right now, starting with this, it's a pretty good start. I haven't even gotten to this stuff yet. I'm gonna make a keep and toss pile. And whatever I don't keep, we'll recycle and uh, give to Goodwill. And whatever I do keep, we'll just make it a lot neater than all of this. We're in it now, folks. Can't get out. The classic fur coat. It was kind of cute. I feel like it could still be cute. I think I should still keep it. I just don't wear it often. And this is my problem. I feel like, oh, I'll wear this once for this one occasion. And then that occasion never happens. And then I just end up hoarding clothes and wonder why I can't fit anything in my closet. We're gonna keep for a little bit longer. This is just a nice black shirt. It's good for work. So is this. So I'll put these two together. It's cute, but it's kind of dingy. Her run is over. We're gonna toss that. My Penn State rain jacket. If you guys don't know, I went to Penn State for two years and then transferred to Rutgers. I had the best time ever at Penn State, so I can't toss this. I'm gonna toss this one though. I'm gonna toss this. I don't wear crop sweaters anymore. That was a phase. I thrifted this and I'm really proud of it. So I'm actually gonna keep this. It looks way cuter on than it does on this little hanger situation. So you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. Also a phase. The Office is my favorite show in the world and we found these Dunder Mifflin sweatshirts at Target. I thought I lost it. That's how bad my closet was. So I'm glad that I found it. We're not tossing it because it's one of my favorite sweatshirts. I have this Tommy Hill figure. I don't really wear it, but we'll keep it. Oh, I have a Yeezus t-shirt, which is pretty cool. This is just a nice black office dress. So we're gonna keep it. It's Calvin Klein. This is like a workout sweater. It's still cute. We'll keep it for another season. This is just so cute. It's a champion fluffy hoodie and I'm really into hoodies if you couldn't tell. So we're gonna keep that. This is new. This is cute. I just wore it in this last video that I filmed. Guys, we're making progress. I'm kind of proud. I didn't think I could let anything go, but we're doing good. This is a nice sweater. But she's on her last leg, like seriously. This is another brand new Nike hoodie. I'm literally just sweatshirts and I have no regrets. 
but that's only in the winter time. In the summer, I look, I look nice. I dyed my brother's hair in this, so I have black dye all over it. So we don't really have a choice with this one, that's a toss. I got this from a J. Cole concert that I went to at Penn State, amazing. There's a lot of memories attached to this and I love J. Cole, so we're gonna keep this t-shirt. This is a cute black summer dress. I really liked it when I wore it, I only wore it once, but we're gonna keep it anyway. This is a really nice black fitted dress, so we're gonna keep that. And this green dress that I recently got, that I now have a hanger for, no big deal, we're just making room. I bought the same dress in this little nude color because I thought it was really pretty. This was like my college uniform. I would wear a rain jacket, some leggings, and some really nice sneakers. And that was literally what I wore 90% of the time. I look nice though. This is this white dress, it's so see-through. I've never worn it because I could tell it was really see-through. It's like from one of those fast fashion brands, so we're just gonna toss. Oh, this is such a nice dress. I got it from American Eagle. The quality is so nice. To be honest, I didn't know it was still in my closet. This is a bodysuit from Gap, I really like. I have a pretty sizable, well, it's looking like it's gonna be sizable, giveaway pile. So that's progress, baby. I wear this shirt all the time around the house. It's just like, a cool blocky shirt from Misguided, I think. This is nice, but it's so see-through, and if you sweat, you have those pit stains, and it's gross, and it's really thin, so we're gonna toss this, finally. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts, so we're gonna keep. Oh, I got this really nice dress from Amazon. Oh, this is such a cute jumper. We're gonna keep that one. Wow, I have so much room now. Besides my fashion haul video, I have never worn this out, and I don't know if I really like it, but we're gonna keep it because I feel like it has potential. After I bought this, I realized I didn't like it, so we're just gonna toss. I love this shirt, though. It's super flowy, perfect for summer, and it looks really nice with jeans. Oh my gosh, the OG hoodie. Literally, I wore this hoodie in particular so often. I'm like the biggest Drake fan ever. And so my brother, my first semester or like my first year of college, after my first year of college, he got me tickets to see Drake in person and it was like Madison Square Garden. And I took my cousin with me and we had the best time and we got these hoodies there. I've literally worn it so much that I have holes here at the bottom and I don't care. Like it's still my favorite hoodie. I cannot get rid of it. It has so much sentimental value. I love him so much and I went with my cousin so it was so fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna wear this thing until there's literally no more thread. So we're keeping that. This flannel I've had since like 2014. I'm gonna let her fly. Same with this guy. All right, one pile down. Don't call it a comeback. This is a nice Nike sweatshirt my brother got me. I really like it. This is one of the dresses I wore in my fashion haul. Super cute, I really like it. We're gonna keep it. I bought this from a fast fashion brand, Pretty Little Things. It got ruined very quickly. We're not gonna keep that anymore. This is a bodysuit, I think, from Shein. How about even? Ta-da, I don't know. Something like that. Oh, look at that. That's that college tuition working in here. Or no. <laughs> That's that college degree working in here. <laughs> oh, wow. I forgot I had this. This is another sweatshirt from Pretty Little Things. A Nike sweatshirt I really like. Pretty sure I thrifted this, but it's awesome. This is a Rutgers sweatshirt. Don't like it as much as the Penn State one, but we'll keep it. This is this beautiful shirt I've gotten from American Eagle. It's super flowy and it's perfect for summer. Like the entire back is out. Super scandalous, but without even knowing. Like the front is all covered, right? And then it's like, bam, just kidding. You know, very nice. And this is my skirt from that haul. I really like this skirt, so we're gonna keep it. We're gonna toss this. All right, let's make a montage real quick because I'm tired of going through them. And this side isn't as exciting as this side was. So I'm just gonna do this quickly. Okay. We finally separated everything. I have a giveaway pile and a keep pile. Now it's just time to put it back in the closet. Yeah, so. I'm gonna feel so good about this later, just right now. I 
found all of these fruit snacks in my bag. This is from when we went to the movies and we didn't want to pay for snacks. <laughs> Good old time. Ooh, I found a Target gift card for five bucks. Look at that. We're making progress in here. There were some trying times, a few moments where I wanted to give up, but I think we had a really good strategy. If you throw everything on the floor, you kind of have to clean up your room. It's all in here, baby. I found some clothes that I thrifted a long time ago. These pants are so freaking, so freaking cute. They're like this nice mint green. This is why we clean out our closets, people. So nice. Comment down below also if you want like a thrifting video and also, Thank you so much. If you made it to this chaotic point in the video, comment down below a comment a hamburger because you guys are real ones. These pants are amazing. Oh my God, guys. I feel like I'm thrifting in my own closet because I'm finding all these goodies. This is more of an aggressive dad short. It doesn't fit and they're not as cute as the other ones. So we're gonna gracefully bow out and give them back to Goodwill. <sighs> okay, we're officially done. It's 11. I started at eight, so kind of tired. I folded everything so it looks a lot less daunting than it is and I put some stuff in bags already. But I'm really proud of myself for seeing it through. I didn't want to do the top, but I did do it. I refolded everything. It still kind of looks cluttered, but it's just because I have a small closet. But I literally took everything out, threw away anything I didn't need. I can finally move the hangers around without, you know, having a problem. I honestly feel much better now that it's done. Hated it while I was doing it but I really am happy with the results and I feel like I can finally use my closet again, which is awesome. I hope that this encourages you and inspires you to do the same. Thank you for watching all the way through if you made it here and I'll see you next time.